Let's have a toast to Let's have a toast to We back like we never left. Oh, <laughs> I missed y'all, man. Got so much shit to talk about and shit. Facts, oh, facts, 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 on facts, on facts. But so, gonna talk about it now for lunchtime. We'll see. Welcome to Sip Tea with Toy and B. That is Toy I and B, and welcome to Lunch Talk. I know y'all are probably like y'all early. But we early. We might as well be early because we got things to talk about today. Uh-huh, because people go to lunch at 12. Facts. Uh-huh. Everybody and, don't go to And, I, you know, I got to go to work later, so. <laughs> yeah, so we squeezing y'all in or whatever, you know. <laughs> you know how we do. Do it. So how have you been? I've been good. Life is fucking great. I'm glad Life- we are in November. At the end of the year. So guess what, guys? We are going to talk about exes. Ugh. So first of all, what you sipping on, Toy? Oh, I got a little wine. Oh, I got a big glass of wine. Taylor Port, to be exact. Oh, I got um, it's this wine from Aldi's, baby, for three something. Ooh. Baby, that wine so freaking good. You it's- gotta text me that. You gotta send it to me. Oh my God, it's so delicious. How's everyone doing this afternoon? Thank you for joining. Hey, No Tolerance, how are you? Oh, you see my boo. <laughs> <laughs> to talk about something, you got to say, hey, I know you guys, we, we are going to talk about exes. We have to talk about these exes for the 2023 because we're definitely not bringing them into the 2024. Yeah, I didn't even bring them into the 2023 with me, but okay. <laughs> nah, some people some still carrying them into the 2023 and it'd be like, I broke up already, so why are we still talking about it? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, you know, so the question, guys, and I need you all to think about it before y'all get into it. I need y'all to think about it, okay? The question is, why are the new girlfriends so mad at the ex-girlfriends? <sighs> why the exes be mad about the new current relationship? Like, not even the exes. My bad. Let me see. I stand corrected. Why are the new relationship, new people, new the new people, the new new man, woman, whoever is the new new? Why mm-hmm. y'all mad at the exes? Oh, cause girl, I thought you were saying like when our exes get with another person, why they mad at us? But you're saying why the new girlfriends is mad at the exes? Exactly. Oh. I don't know, because I ain't never been her. I don't give a fuck about your ex. Like, we can talk about it and all. I don't care. Like, that shit don't bother me. She don't, whatever she eat, don't make me, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't, I never been that type of person, so I don't give a fuck about they, who they done been with before me. I don't give a fuck. I never cared about, like, I don't care about the exes. Honey, that's an ex. She an ex clearly for a reason. Now, or he an ex for a reason. You know what I'm saying? So why? And see, Bella on it. Bella, Bella already hitting it on the head. I that Bella, Bella. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. So now the new question is: Why is the ex still a topic in your current relationship? Why are y'all talking about the ex? Exactly. Cause I be hurt and they miss the ex. They want to go back. Cause why you keep talking about it? Baby, you might want to just go back and make it work. Why are you talking about her? Ain't make- no spinning, ain't no spinning the block in 2024. I know Nelly and Ashanti did it. 
You know, I know all them other people did. But none of my exes makes me sound like that, so. <laughs> uh-uh. Got something. Ain't no, ain't no going back, baby, uh-uh. Because they're not over them, so then why did you get into a new relationship? What was the point? <laughs> That's just what I just said, because they ain't over it. They might as well go back and make that shit work. Ooh, Hermesha said a word, because he done went and lied to that girl about me so bad and made me look like the villain so much that she mad at me and yep. don't even know me from a bum on the street. Yo, yo, I, I had to, I, I had to read it. You see how I had to read it? I had to read it, like, because she... Yo, Hermesha, I felt you right in that shit, bitch. You was like... Because he motherfucking, because <laughs> he got me fucked that, up. That, that be it right now. That be but it. No, but my thing is, at the end of the day, like, what is the purpose of that? Like, y'all broke up. Clearly, there was already a breakup. So, what was the point? What is the purpose of painting a person out to be a villain? Mm -hmm. It didn't work. So, why are you still talking about it? Like, whether or not it didn't work because of that person or you in particular, what is the purpose of talking about your ex in? your current relationship. Right. What, like, is that a pillow talk? That turn y'all on? That's foreplay? Because, you know, if you're talking about me, baby, in your bedroom, <laughs> you know, y'all know I'm talking. Y'all better stop. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. Like, why the fuck is we going to be laid up coloring talking about exes? Why? What's the reason? What's the purpose? And I just, I don't get it. I, is it a, like, honestly, I feel like it's a form of insecurity. Like, yeah. why are you trying to reassure, reassure your new chick? Like, so you got to paint the ex like a bad person. And I honestly feel like that's a red flag. Exactly. I don't know. I don't know if y'all agree with me. Because, you know, some of y'all may, y'all like to go against me every time I say something. Then y'all come back around full circle a year later and tell me I was right anyway. But, uh, <laughs> It never fails. Uh, you know, I just feel like if, if it's an insecurity thing, like you got to bash somebody, like for what? I don't understand. So I had to ask that question because I wanted it. I needed somebody to make it make sense. Or Hermesha, you hit it right on the head. Uh huh. She did that. She and you seen? I had to give the attitude because <laughs> she, she wrote that bitch like because it, it, you know, can't cuss, but yeah. Shall we cuss a little bit? Uh-uh, because I lately, every time I cussed on something, I get suspended or muted, so I ain't cussing. Mm. <laughs> oh, so, <laughs> so, you follow back up, because I asked the first question, so you follow back up with your question, and I was like, oh, go ahead, ask your question. <laughs> so, my question is, what advice would you give someone that's dating your ex? So, me, I, I'm not, I'm not, don't even come to me. Because let me tell you something. Everybody is a different person for everybody. So, how that person was with me, they might not be that with you. So, my whole thing is, because it don't happen to me because uh, one of my homegirls, she was, um, I guess, was talking to one of my ex. It was a dude. And she was trying to call me and ask me about him. And I was like, baby, listen, don't call and ask me nothing. Like, if y'all gonna talk, y'all talk. Because how he was with me, he might not be like that with you. So I can't, I'm not going to sit here and tell you or down talk him. Because how he was with me, he might be different with you. So everybody grows. So I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, bitch, don't talk to them. Because no, baby. Because you might be that bitch that he probably was a dog. He or she probably was a dog-ass bitch to me. So they meet you and they might turn, change. You might change them. Or they probably was nice as fuck with me, but be a dog-ass bitch to you. So a different person bring out, in, bring out different shit in different people. So You, you, you want the, what I would say? Mm-hmm. You about the current ex? Huh? Like, no, I'm just asking like, Honestly, it depends on the ex. Like, you know, it depends. It depends on the ex. Like, if it's the one that I, you know, I love and I didn't want to break up with, and we we just broke up because it was the wrong time, you know, right person, wrong time. I'd be like, 
you know, I'd be like, you know, she she's a good woman. You need to like nurture her, this, that, whatever. Now, if it's that, mm, it's gonna be beat that hoe. <laughs> if she breathe wrong, beat that hoe. She look wrong, beat that hoe. Like <laughs> that's <laughs> I do not condone violence and I do not condone domestic violence. But for her, beat that hoe. No. Yeah. No. I ain't got nothing. Because just just because that person was not good to you, they might be, they might find that person that was right for them and change. So at the same time, that's why I say I ain't really got nothing. I can't tell you nothing about it. I ain't got no advice for your ass about my ex. Just mm because you know which you know which one I'm talking about. You jump on board with it. You you I, would you probably help me jump her. But I mean, I would beat her. I beat that hoe, but at the same time, it's like okay, yeah, 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 because I know, yeah, yeah. but yeah, no, because she lied to you, she lied to you too. She 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 lied in your face too. Uh huh. We'll beat yeah. her, but at the same time, it's still like we don't condone violence though. Yeah, we don't. Ain't it either, Amisha? We are retarded, honey. If you ain't never seen none of our lives, girl, we is retarded. I'm okay. like tolerance. Find out for yourself, baby, for real. Find out for yourself. Yeah. I can't like here go Bella talking about some my ex. My ex called me asking me to give her um give their new people a play by play on how to please them. What? I ain't doing that one, baby. If that hold on, no, then that's on y'all. Y'all better figure that shit out. Leave me what the fuck you, alone. What do you mean? How yes, to please Like, I'm supposed to tell you? How to please how to your girl. How me and her used to fuck. Girl, get the fuck off my motherfucking <laughs> phone. Bitch, be <laughs> both of you bitches for even tempting to call me. I'm on my, I'm going to tell her in person. How about that? I'm on my way. <laughs> Bitch, I'm going to be both of you bitches. Because, baby, don't you ever fix your mouth to feel like I'm comfortable <laughs> enough to tell another bitch how to please you. Like, come on. You serious right now? The fuck? I don't just... know. I feel like I feel like um the new okay, but I, I feel like it's an unspoken rule because it's like the that it's like the new girlfriends, new boyfriends be feeling like they are entitled to every part of you know a person's life. So now they want to get that, you know, hey, let me go ahead and call, but they don't want they want to call the ex. To get the play by play, they want to call the ex to get the info, the tea, and mm -hmm. all that, but they don't want the ex to make to contact. Them. That motherfucker, that motherfucker can't, it can't be the other way around though, bitch. I can't call you and tell you, oh, give, I want you to give my new nigga, a new bitch, the play by play on how to please me. I mean, like, I, you know, I'm petty. I'm gonna be like, all right, bring her over here and watch this. <laughs> You dumb as fuck. <laughs> but you, come, let's be real. Y'all already know me. Like, I would be like, dude, even if I told you how to do it, you wouldn't be able to do it. You not me yet. Girl, what the fuck? Exactly. She, wait. Exactly. She called me like, can you tap my wife because she can't make me come like you can. What the fuck? The dis <laughs> the disrespect. Beat that hoe. What the fuck? Are you kidding me right now? This is weird. Only in the lesbian community. <laughs> no, 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 no. I ain't never beat. heard about this shit. I ain't never heard about this shit. This shit. No, 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 no. Straight community be with the fuck shit too. Don't do that. <laughs> I ain't never heard this shit in the straight community though. Straight community do it too. Hey, bro. Can you tell my girl, like, I I did. hey, me, <laughs> make me come, bro. Like, you would tell my girl that? Uh, what the fuck? I, I can't even imagine a nigga doing this. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> he got wild. No, me. but, you know, the thing is what's crazy, though, is the women will have that conversation. Because this is, this, women do have that conversation because they call themselves trying to be petty or trying to have one up on somebody. So let's just. Mad. but that's when they mad and they being petty right but just, nah, they be doing that little sipping talking they be sitting here like what oh they, what if, but i'm saying like what if they own like some um like say me and you right 
I'm messing with a nigga and he Good called shit. tell you to tell my new bitch like how you what we used to do so she can make me feel how you feel. While I'm fucking you, you're gonna be thinking about this bitch. That's how you're gonna nut. So why the fuck am I even like why is we even doing this then? Why is we even doing this? But you know, I just go be with your ex because I don't give a fuck. Even with her, um Bella, her ex-wife, trust me, if the if you would have told the details, guess what? Yo, that ex-wife is gonna be thinking about you just so she can nut while this bitch is doing whatever she's doing. Like I know. I I guarantee you, if me and somebody if me and somebody has sex, you thinking about me. I'm not trying to be cocky, like for real, for, I'm not trying to be cocky. It's the level that you know like it's an experience it's a level that we gonna go at some point unless this woman is like top notch and she know what she doing or whatever you're gonna think about me at some point and i've had exes call me they will call me like i miss you no sweetheart i know what you miss <laughs> i know exactly what you miss me, baby. <laughs> you don't miss me. You don't miss me. You, I know exactly what you miss. But you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, but my thing is, I could never lay down with somebody who's thinking about somebody else. Yeah. But how do you know if they're thinking about somebody else? You know when somebody is on top of you thinking about something else. I don't know who they're thinking about, but they be staring at whatever the hell they're staring at. They're not staring at you. They're they not got, into you. How many someone looking in your eyes? Why not? They ain't there yet. You know when some you know when <laughs> I'm telling you, you know. Hey, no, but you do know when somebody is thinking about someone else, something else, they're distracted, like especially sexually, you can tell. Please, honey, that's when you gotta bust a tap. I don't know what you're doing, but you need to stop. <laughs> I did, no, but I had to like I I did it, it's horrible, but I did. Think of someone else while having sex with someone. I did that before. I'm not. I'm not proud of it, but I, I did. It, but I was like, "Hey, it is what it is." It is because I didn't know what was happening. It happened. I already knew who you was talking about before you said that. Now you had to go expose this girl. Be y'all share a birthday? Does that help? Trust me, I knew who you was talking about when you said it. <laughs> hey, that would be so, that would be so petty, bro. Like. <laughs> Like I knew, you know, what and it's so crazy because even the first time we had her on our show, <laughs> and we knew she was talking about, it, she still on inbox. So I was talking about, such, 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 so we like, bitch, we knew, <laughs> we knew you was talking about. Trust me, I'm aware. <laughs> no, because all you have to say, it's sure y'all fucking know. no, 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 no. Like, I, okay, in that situation, I already knew what time it was because. Okay, so Bella's a simp. She's an aggressive simp. And I don't know, like, I'm not going to go into it and explain what the difference between an aggressive simp and a simp is and all that stuff. We already did that in previous shows. And um, Bella introduced this woman to a different type of sex. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, you're going to get with somebody who's not going to be able to compare to that. Mm hmm and that's the same thing. And that's why I said I'm not trying to be cocky when it comes to me sexually. I just know what I introduce people to and the sounds and what's happening on my damn bed sheets and how many times I had to change pillow toppers and stuff. I know what happens. So it's like, yeah, you're not going to get that with, you know, the new chick. Because I'm looking at the new chick and she's not giving off this energy. Not saying that you don't have a good relationship. None of that or whatever, but I do know, like, sexually, it's not what it is. And maybe that was the only thing me and that person had, you know, like, that kept us together. Like, we was linked sexually pretty much because that's some relationships. Y'all really good sexually, but as far as being in a relationship, y'all fuck at. Yeah. And, and that's normally, don't you notice that's normally how relationships are? It's like a really, really good relationship. Y'all best friends. Y'all great. But the sex be whack. Yep. Why we can't get good sex from the good relationship? Uh-uh. God said you can't have the full package. You either gonna have 
a good person and accept something bad, and you got to show me your loyalty that you ain't going to cheat, or I'm going to give you over here this good sex ass person, but they ain't and got they gonna no, cheat, they gonna die. They got nothing going on. They gonna cheat, but they can't help you how you want to be helped now. But I got this over here now. But I'm telling you, it ain't perfect over there because sex ain't good. So what the you sex, want? The sex ain't sexing, bro. Like sex ain't sexing, but they're a good ass person. Everything you want is right here in this person. But uh, now the toxic sex. Oh. <laughs> oh. God say no, I can't give one person every package, everything. Like I just keep <laughs> something got messed up. Hermisa said toxic is fuck with each other, but we have the best sex. I'm <laughs> you. It's like we can't stand each other, but for some reason, yep, that, that's what that's what God did. He said, oh, 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 we know how to get it in in that bedroom, boy. Ooh. I'm. Guys, my mom be watching my live. So you say hi to my mom. Everyone just say hi to my mom because she be like, <laughs> she like so if y'all think I just be over here going off top, my mom knows exactly we, who I am. We actually been professional today, mama. We yeah, my mom be watching the live. She be like, oh my God, I be drinking during the day or talking about all this sex and sex. And I'm like, <laughs> so my mom be here. So she's not going to respond though, but she be watching. So. <laughs> Exactly. Hey, mom. <laughs> that's my number one fan. But that is, but yeah, y'all, that's, everybody can agree with that. Everybody can be on one accord with that one, because, yeah. Um, that gonna... sex me, no, that sex be toxic as hell, and I'm, I'm trying to, so the level, the relationship that you have with her, I'm not going to have. Yeah. And I guess that's probably why them exes be mad, but y'all gotta get over it. Because yeah. yeah. that ex-girlfriend ain't thinking about you. That ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend ain't thinking about you. Not you even a little the, bit. What the they trying to tell you to make it seem like it is, trust me, it ain't what it is. Right it now. is not. And if she's telling you stories or whatever, she's trying to come back. Like, just it, she not thinking about you. Not even a little bit. Um, <laughs> what a like it. <laughs> what a guy. Yeah. Are we ready for topic number three? Yeah, go ahead, girl. Go on. Okay. So we're going to close the show out with this hot question. What did you learn from your last relationship? Mm. Y'all let us know in the comments what y'all learned. And y'all be honest, too. Like, don't be talking about, I ain't teaching you shit. It can teach you something good. No, it, t it taught you a lot in your past relationship. Good, it can teach you something bad. It can teach you something, you know, like what not to do. In the next one. So don't act like y'all ain't never. Eh, ooh, 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 ooh. I was just about to say that. My my past, my past, my past, my past relationship taught me to ooh. put me first and not to lose myself in a relationship. Um, a lot of us lose ourselves in relationships where we don't stand in the pain about us. But honey, like King um Harris, T. I son said before he got choked out. He stand on business. And I stand on business about me. What shoes you use when you're standing on business? Honey, I be in my Crocs and sports mode, baby. I'm in I'm in my Jesus lives. <laughs> I'm standing in, I'm standing on business. Ooh, that's a good one. That you is a good one. Because karma don't have favors. Oh my God. I love that. Yes. yes. That yes. that is true. I um a lot of y'all are dealing with y'all karma now. A lot of y'all are dealing with y'all karma now and y'all don't know that it's because y'all was some fucked up individuals and y'all passed and y'all refused to take accountability. Like, y'all probably one of them, them, them exes that go and pillow talk about your ex-girlfriend making her or him seem like he the bad guy when really you was the whole demon seed in the whole relationship. Sometimes you gotta take a look in the mirror and actually accept accountability for where you fucked up at. I've laid, I've laid my truth out on this live many times i've done some fucked up shit I, there's a lot of things that i've done that were fucked up like i.e telling a woman i would never get married to a woman and then turn around the next day and got married to a woman and post that bitch on facebook that's some fucked up shit like that was the most fucked up thing i've ever did in my life um if i could ever sit down and apologize to that woman i probably would um but yeah she don't talk to me 
she ain't gonna talk to me. She's never gonna talk to me, but I'm pretty sure she's seen these lives enough to know that I am truly apologetic about it because I should have never hurt her like that. I was hurting. Hurt people do hurt people. Y'all got to be mindful. Y'all have to be mindful when you're going through things. You need to pause and, and heal and stop jumping and stop jumping into relationships with people and situationships with people. Like lately, I've been hearing a lot of people too. And trust me, I got a lot to say about this topic and it's going to be a show coming soon about that. Why say that you're not ready for a relationship, but start vibing with somebody, give them relationship vibes, be fucking them. Y'all, y'all, everything is relationship. They not seeing nobody else. You not seeing them, anybody else, but you refuse to give them a title. Why? So if you can have your cake and eat, like, come on. So I feel like that's a topic for another day with that one. Um, they like damn B. Don't judge me. I already <laughs> laid that out one one night when I was sipping Hennessy. I told y'all everything. Told us everything, baby, on that Hennessy. I told y'all everything. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? I, girl era. <laughs> it was not a savage girl area. It really wasn't. I told that story. My ego was bruised. She tried me. She said something about me being a big girl and whatever. So I had to watch this. And I showed her better than I could tell her. And honestly, like I said, karma, like you said, honestly, karma has no favorites. Mm -hmm. Yeah, karma bit me in the ass, like, big time. I got caught up in my feelings, thought I was so in love, and then come to find out homegirl was cheating on me with my nail tech. <laughs> on your nails. Girl, that was another time, another day. It is what it is. Never experienced nothing like that ever, ever. And I don't been with some dog ass motherfuckers. Ooh, damn. Cause that's the uh -uh. One. what she said. What? Hold Cause on. She, uh, she show out otherwise. What that's supposed to mean? It's like yo, no, you didn't. Am I lying? Where's the lie? Where is the lie? Listen, I don't. You can go I back and lie watch. about my. You can go back and watch them. They're all on. Um, hey, Keisha, how you doing? Um, listen. One thing about it, I live in my truth. I am one person in this universe. I feel like I don't say everybody doesn't live in their truth, but I do live in my truth. Um, I don't have any. Like I, I don't have any skeletons in my closet. No one can expose me. I'm gonna expose me before anything else. So if I could get on this live and talk about all types of things, I've talked about living a polyamorous life. I've talked about living, look, I, got, I was married. I talked about being with the dude, trying to be straight. I tried for a very long time. I did try. Um, I've tried to be like, you know, I've, I've lived. Bitch, let's talk about it. <laughs> Bitch. Bella. Bitch. Why she doing your nails, you find out? Like, how did, did, did she tell you or uh, you so happy? She did. Phone? She did. She did. How, how was that conversation? Like, what did she say? I don't know what happened to the sound. My sound? What do you mean? No, it's my, my sound. I don't know what happened. I can hear you. You don't hear me? I can hear you. I just said that. Oh, I thought, I thought you said you couldn't hear me. Um, what I said, how the fuck, like, how, she just told you, like. Okay, so I was dealing with someone. Okay. I was, can you hear me now? I don't know what's going on with my stuff. Yeah, I hear you, but your picture went off, but I hear you. Maybe, may, maybe God don't want me to tell the story, that's what it is. But, <laughs> okay. okay. We can talk about it next time. We can take. We can take. No, no, I, I'm gonna brief. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go brief because I'm not going into it. Because I, we, I really didn't tell uh, what I learned, so we don't have to talk about it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell, when when y'all y'all tune into the next one, and I'll tell y'all that story. But, that's yeah. how, that's how that's gonna go. I'll tell y'all my next story. No, we need to know. We need that on the off day. <laughs> that well, was so scandalous. I swear to God, like, bitch, I'm like, okay, was well, she doing her nails and her phone wrong and she seen the girl name pop up? Like, what the fuck? Okay, anyways. But um, me, I've learned that I just need to stop talking about my past 
because every time I talk about my past, they use it against me. So from now on, motherfuckers, I ain't got no past. Bitch, figure me out on your own. But no, nah, I just, and I learned also to heal before I get into another, another lit situation. So I need to just heal first instead of going from one person to the next. So now I'm in my healing stage right now. So I'm just trying to work on me and just get my life together so I can just move forward. But yeah, and I need to stop holding on to stuff and let it go. But that's what I've learned. Yeah, Bella, we got to do that three-way conversation. Bella is doing too much on the people live, honey. We on yes. Facebook. Yes, thank y'all. We back, we back. We back, we back, we back. Oh, yes, honey. Bella be doing too much. Bella be doing too, too much. Well, anyway, so what, what did y'all learn? What did y'all learn? Yeah, that's what I was trying to ask. What y'all learn? I know, like, honey, I learned, um, I learned really, uh, ooh, remember, I learned living separate is important. Me the fuck too. Oh, no, no, you was in, the, you was against me. We, 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 you was against me, big dog. You was against me. You was against me. At first I was. At first I was, but now that I did it, like, I love it. I love my peace. I love my time away. I fucking love it. Because when you get sick of a person, it's like, okay, I'm going home now. I had enough of you. Not even sick of a person. I no, don't feel like. I'm not saying like in a bad way sick. I'm saying like, okay, I need a break. I need the woosah. So I can I just, go home. I just feel like individuality is just important. Like, you know what I'm saying? Until you get a place where someone can respect their individuality, I don't feel like people can coexist and live together. Like, if you can't respect me as a person, respect my space, respect my privacy, and you got to crowd me so much, then we don't need to live together. Like, you live in your space, I live in my space, and we'll see each other when we see each other. We'll kick it. You can come sleep over, I sleep over. It is what it is, but go home. Yeah. Hey, honest. Yeah, I love it. Hey! That's who did our intro song, guys. If y'all need an intro, hit up Honest Liquid. Yeah, make sure y'all like and follow and subscribe to her. Yes, always. But yes. um and yeah. congratulations. I learned that. I learned that too. Like um I because in all my relationships, I think I lost me because I was just trying to be so in tune in what they like and what they wanted. So I lost me. And but I was I, telling you that. Baby, I found me again. No, nah, I was telling you, baby. I was like so. And he used to be looking at me like I was y'all used to look at me like I was crazy. I'm so dead. I used to look at this bitch like, what? How the fuck is you married or in a relationship? And bitch, you saying all this. But now because it's facts, it, you gotta love you first. It, it girl. Now I get it. You ain't gotta yell at me, baby. Yell at them people because they probably ain't got it yet. But baby, I got it. Baby, you ain't gotta girl. tell me. Nah, they was give, they was scrutinizing. They was they was giving me a hard time, baby. They was giving boy, they was sitting off on them. I, don't yell at me, baby. I like they was giving me a hard time because I stood in the pain about me. I told you I stand no business about me. We were standing no business like a motherfucker, and we was totally against show. We was totally against show ass, bitch. We was the devil while you was God standing no business with his Jesus slides on, baby. And we was over here being the devil saying, uh-uh, life don't supposed to be like that. Da -da 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 -da. But now I fucking get it and I understand every word that you fucking said. And I appreciate you. It might take us a long time to get it, but we fucking get it. I appreciate See, and I stood in the paint and I didn't waver, guys. I didn't change nothing. I was... He should say, I used to lose myself also. I have done my work and team me up going forward. I swear to God, that is me, baby. That is me. I'm reading my every day. I read my 100 days of all things new. Baby, I I'm trying to renew me, period. Because I like the fuck I was. You got to dedicate that time to you. You got to dedicate time to God. I'm telling you, people mm -hmm. be thinking, people be thinking like, oh, you know what? I love this person and I just want to like be all around them all the time. Yo, sometimes mm -hmm. y'all energies are not in the same wavelength. Y'all not there yet. 
Maybe you see something in that person that they will grow to be, but you got to allow them to do that space individually. You can't be carrying people into every journey of your life. That's really what I learned in relationships. I used to always want to fix people. Oh, I see the potential in them. I see, oh, I see greatness. I see you that's better it. than yourself. That's I like, boy, and that's asking you, why is you with this person? Why is you messing with this person? Baby, I can't explain it to you. I can see not, things about this person. I see things. I just can't explain it to nobody. I'm sorry. I can't explain it. But, but also, you can't want life for a person more than they want life for themselves. Mm -hmm. You got to want. And then when I realized, yo, I'm pouring into the wrong thing. Like, I need to start pouring into me. Yeah. Like, that energy I keep giving this person, mm -hmm. I need to put that in me. Yeah. And that's when things started changing. But when it comes to friends, it comes to family, it comes to relationships. Oh, I set boundaries real quick, honey. If I don't like how you talk to me, I don't like how you move with me, it's a cutoff session. Like, I don't... Because, yeah, like, it, and it took me a while to get up to stand up for myself. It took a while because people make you believe, like, you're wrong yeah. for having boundaries. And that nigga, if I don't like the shit, if I don't like how you fucking speak to me, bro, if you can't change that, you can't do that, you can't do it. Think how they think. No, I can't think how you think. No. We don't think the same. We're not going to think the same. We're not going to feel things the same. We're not going to experience things the same. You need time to miss them. You need to see how they handle hard, exactly a hard space so you no. can see they will handle hard things with, with your, exactly. Hey. That's Keisha. We're not twins. And that's an, that's another thing, too. A lot of couples get enmeshed. And it's like, oh, because I'm mad, you got to be mad. Oh, because I'm sad, you got to be sad. No, bitch. You sad, you sad by your goddamn self. Exactly. You, you, like, <laughs> I'm not, ain't, nothing, ain't nobody made me mad. Shit. I'm, I'm chilling over here. Shit. I am in, I'm at peace. So you want me to disturb my peace because somebody done pissed you off. So you want me to piss off? No, baby. Uh-uh. Nah. So a lot of people don't understand that. And they think it's being selfish. Yeah, it is low-key being selfish. It's called self-love. I love me first. I'm not going to be like, you know how some people be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get in a relationship with somebody and I want them to be disrespectful to everybody when it comes to me. Honey, I'm going to be disrespectful to everybody when it comes to me. Right. I'm going to do that. Like, so if I don't like how you handle me, I don't care, friends, family, anybody, at the end of the day, if I don't like it, it's cut off. I'm not arguing with you. You knew my boundaries. You knew what I was going to accept. You knew what I wasn't accepting. It was what it was. I'm laying it out. And if you can't respect me, then you don't need to be in my space. Exactly. And that's where I'm at in my life. And that goes, like I said, for relationships, that goes for friendships, that goes for family. Oh, I'll cut, I'll cut off anybody about me. Mm -hmm. Shoot. God wasn't playing when he created me, so why am I playing about me now? Exactly. Hmm. Period. Life. Period. That's why I'm at in life. Healing, peace, loving myself, putting me first and uplifting me. And then... When God is ready to place that person in my life. Well, I know we wasn't going to stay on long anyway because she have to go to work. So I'm going to go ahead and close out this live. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to us on YouTube at Sip Tea with Toy and B. Make sure y'all like um, all our pages. Um, make sure to like and subscribe to my youtube i do a 21 questions session on there if you have questions that you would like us to talk about and voice our opinion on here you can send them to sip tea with toy and being at gmail.com or you can just inbox them to us so everybody have a blessed and prosper day and we're out of here bye <laughs>